They're going to believe these are really ET beings coming to help mankind, to yeah, save that's, mankind. That's the, and they'll have gifts. That's the, that may be part of the New World religion. Uh, it is the New World's religion. Wow. It is the One World religion. Are you saying that these implants that people are going to get are going to energize them into modern-day Nephilim? I, in other words, there'll be a tie-in between the Antichrist and so-called ET. Wow. Before. We need to wake up, wake up. And, and start warning people yep. what's, what's, what's already here. Hey everybody, David here. L.A. Marzulli, uh, expert in Nephilim. And, uh, well, I'm going to get right to the point. What I would consider disclosure. Mm -hmm. Disclosure, what is disclosure? Disclosure is uh, the revealing of a so-called extraterrestrial presence. Um, and it's happening uh, right under our noses. I, I, I spoke this morning. You came up and said something interesting. You yeah. said that, that this is the first time you ever saw me with, with such an immediacy yeah. with the message. And, and there is that because we're, we're, we're on the second rung of, of a ladder of disclosure. The first rung being... In 2017, where Commander David Fravor is a complete unknown, winds up on Tucker Carlson with real UFO footage that was right. classified, and he and he shows this on on national TV, and no one does anything. The church right. doesn't say anything. My email doesn't light up. Nobody cares. Yeah. And Tucker Carlson asked him, "Where do you think this craft was?" And 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 Fravor looks right at the camera and said, "This was not of this world." Mm -hmm. That's disclosure first rung. Second disclosure, second rung, um, a disclosure ladder happened in my opinion with Luis. Zondo, again Tucker Carlson show well, it, it, national Tucker, TV. Tucker, this Tucker's is not like yeah. He, he's like the he the church isn't doing this. Is Tucker Bingo. Carlson, Tucker Carlson this is, is is the church. Yeah, and it's wow. amazing because he's really latched onto this. And yeah. so Luis Elizondo is on um, the show, and Tucker Carlson at the very end. Well, uh, does the United States government have in its possession debris from a crashed UFO? And Elizondo looks right at the camera and says yes. Whoa. That is the second rung of the ladder, and it's it's happening, and they're rolling it out to see what the reaction is, and the reaction is absolute flatline. The church is is I mean I'm 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 beating the drum like crazy because uh, that's what I've been doing for thirty years. But, yeah. Uh, but but L.A. Let me back up. You say UFO. Okay. Now UFO is that an alien or is this demonic? This activity? is all most of it. I would say. Most of it is demonic. Uh, okay. A, a, a it, great portion of it. So it's an not, overwhelming portion of okay, it is demonic. Okay, so it's not necessarily beings from another planet, no. Mars. Interdimensional. It's, ah, interdimensional. Interdimensional entities. Oh, principalities and principalities higher, and and and, and they they morph. Meniscus modesti, as Russ Dizdar yeah. would say, but they morph. Um, and they can change shape, and we've had reports of that. I'll give you one where someone sees a UFO coming in, and he begins to pray against it in the name of Jesus, and it just morphs into a dragon and flies away. Why, That's crazy. Why is the church not at the forefront? The church should be the tip of the spear. The church should be uh, banging the drum on this. The church should be warning. Instead, you know, we just heard Russ Dizdar, and I have a, I have a passion for the church. I'm part of the church. Right. But the church is so predictable and has lost its spiritual underpinnings, which is why the youth is leaving. Many of the youth and, and, and other people, even adults, are going into Wiccan or going into paganism right. or going into the New Age, into right. yoga, right. because there's an experience there. Yeah. And which is going to connect with the with disclosure. Some, bingo. With, Absolutely. And, it, it's all like this. And, and they're going to be deceived. It's, that's, that may be part of the New World religion. Uh, it is the New World's religion. Wow. It is the One World religion. Because everything will just just kowtow to this. We created ET when the extraterrestrial right. ET will say we created all life on this planet. We seeded you here. We genetically manipulated early man. We started the world's civilization, started the world's religions. Now at this critical juncture, we ET are back to usher mankind into a golden age. The new age people have been yeah. saying this for forty years. I'm not making this up. That's what they say on the other right. side of the aisle. They're going to believe these are really ET beings coming to help mankind, to yeah, save that's, mankind. That's the, and they'll have gifts. And they'll have gifts. But they'll actually yeah. be demonic. It's all demonic. What? I believe that they'll have an implant. I believe the mark of the beast is an implant, which okay. will extend your life, which will turn you into a modern-day Nephilim, which is why the judgment is severe and there's no... You, they, these okay. people who take the mark, they wind up in the lake of fire. There's no grace and mercy there. Okay. And the okay. only time there's no grace and mercy is when the Nephilim are present. So you take this mark and it changes your DNA and you become modern day Nephilim. You come, become the seed of the, of the fallen church. Okay. I want to put a pause on that. All right. I want to back up and ask you a question. When you talk about the uh, disclosure, 
What does that look like? In other words, you wake up one morning, what do you see? What happens? What unfolds? If you could like write a story how you think it's going to happen. I sat down with Gary Stearman about this. We've talked about it off the record. Um, and we both think that the third rung of the disclosure ladder will be very extremely convincing, real live, black and white, or even color um, photographs or and or film, let's say of Roswell or of a crash okay. site, something like that, where they'll okay. trot out a retired Air Force guy or some guy from the Pentagon or whatever, and they'll show a 10 second or a 20 second clip or a 30 second clip, and this guy will explain that yes, this they crashed here, we know who they are, we know where they came wow. from, something like and that. And people are gonna embrace this. People, well look, you've got, you've got in, in my book, my new book, UFO Disclosure, there's this, and people, oh, I'm just trying to, you know, sell bucks here. But there's, what I did is I copied this, um, all these different shows, TV shows and movies. Right. And there's hundreds of them. There's like right. 10 pages of just, just, we have been. They're so, prepping us for it. We have been enculturated. Right. Brainwashed. This right. is why the second rung of the ladder, no one, no one bats an eyelash. So this is going to be a door opening to the Antichrist. In other words, the disclosure, you've got your aliens, who knows, that could go yeah. on 50 years, 100 years, we don't know. But this will be when the Antichrist comes in and uses that model. I think, and Chuck, this is the words of Chuck Missler, who was a mentor to me. Yeah. Uh, Chuck used to say that he believed that the Antichrist would boast an alien connection, an ET connection, would boast an alien connection. In other words, there'd be a tie-in between the Antichrist and so-called ET. Wow, okay, last question. Let's go back to this uh, modern-day Nephilim. This okay. Super, the chip, right. The, the, yeah, How is that, what does that look like? How's that gonna work? Well, we actually, when I started talking about this, uh, 1999, 2000, I was laughed at by my brothers and sisters in Christ and told her, you know, a kook and every, every name in the book. So when we actually extracted the implant from uh, patient number 17, this was a 40 year old implant. This guy was implanted and taken, abducted when he was five years old and implanted. Wow. Um, you could cut this one with a razor knife, but implant 16, you could only cut it with a laser beam. So, so there's an evolution of these things. So LA, let me, for, for the audience that doesn't know, uh, you had this this gentleman and he was implanted many, many years ago mm -hmm. by the by the Nephilim, right? No, by by by, ex, by so-called interdimensional, uh, nefarious uh, interdimensional yeah. entities. The demonic forces. Yeah, demonic okay. forces. Okay, so he's implanted, you pull it out. Now, are you saying that these implants that people are going to get are going to energize them into modern day Nephilim? I, what, I, what I think is going to happen, this is conjecture, yeah. the implant interfaces with the human body through the nervous system. Okay. We used to think it interfaced uh, through the blood the circulatory system, it doesn't, it works through the nervous system. We also think that it will change the host's DNA. Wow. You're it will change thing. the host's that, DNA. That's, that's what Michael Lake says. I know. As a matter of fact, we've talked about three this. or four of my interviews are saying the same thing. Yeah. Very interesting. It, wow. it changes the host DNA, and wow. you become Nephilim. You become the seed of the serpent, which is why you wow. there's no redemption. Wow. And so, w is this happening now? In your opinion, it's the 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 well the mark. Let's put it this way: num the what we took out was 40 years old. The new ones you can't cut open, and we don't we don't really know what they can do. And how they work. It's like, it'd be like Stanton Friedman's analogy. Okay. Columbus going into a nuclear submarine, he'd have no idea what he was looking at. Okay. We so, have no idea what we're looking at. So they could be doing it now. They probably oh, it's, are doing it's, it now. There's it's no so, doubt in my mind that so, they have it ready to go. Ready to go, meaning that they're going to, uh, they're going to implement it or they are implementing when it? They, when they show up, they'll yeah. have two things. They'll give they'll give mankind free energy, okay, <clears throat> zero point energy, the energy that pilots the, the ships, okay, propels the ships, okay, and they will have because they are our progenitors. They'll say that they created us, our progenitors, right? They will have uh, a DNA upgrade. That's how they'll couch it. Uh, okay. And so you take this chip, and guess what? Right. You live three to five hundred years disease free. Wow.
the lines are on the block. Such in the days of, as in the days, days of, of Noah. Noah. So it will be. Wow. Okay. So, so it me, extends the lifespan. All right. Let me sum Just it up. It's like the days of Noah. All right. So disclosure. Aliens, uh, quote, aliens, you know, they're demonic beings. But the uh, New Age, the New World religion will embrace them yes. as the god. A, right? as, as the gods it, of, the, of, it, of yeah, antiquity. Just like it, ancient aliens does and every, will, every Friday night. They'll implant these chips and right. they'll guarantee us all this health benefit and to live. Wow. And this is what you're saying. This we is, are on the cusp. We're on the cusp. And that's why I think the church has to be taken out soon because I don't I don't think we're supposed to go through this. However, <clears throat> and here's the caveat: how much of this will we see before we're actually taken out? And no one knows that. Exactly. We're already at the second rung of disclosure yes. on the disclosure ladder. So the question is, how much more are we going to see? Right. And, and I find that alarming. And I wouldn't even want to ask this question, but I'm asking anyway: Is this post-trib? Is this pre-trib? <laughs> Are you there's are, a there's a saying that I, I coined about a year or two ago. We go up, they show up. We go up, they come down. Um, that's what I'm holding on to. That's my blessed hope. Okay. Um, so we'll we're, see. We're already. What's troubling is we're already on the second rung of disclosure. Right. How much more? How much and more? And so we walk through this and we rethink our positions as. Okay. Things unfold. So what you're saying is you believe and you your hope is we're going to be taken we're out. We're taken out. Before yeah. all this is implemented. Com how, well, how, completely implemented, com yes. Complete. Absolutely. But, the, but we're already seeing stuff. Right. But the closer we get yeah. to it being completed, less likely that we're going to be packing our bags and leaving anytime soon. I, I don't know. I, I just... You know, I, that's my blessed hope. I really yeah. think that we're taken out before the nonsense happens. But we're seeing a lot of nonsense. Yeah. <coughs> the, the main, know, the main Noah thing, saw a lot of nonsense before he was tucked away it, into the ark. You know, when Jesus said, as in the days of Noah, we look at it right. like, oh, we marrying, drinking. But you, there's so much more to that. Just what we just said. Well, who's 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 being given in marriage in that? Oh. Because cool. when you go back to Genesis it, 6, there's no human beings in that in that chapter. Wow. No matter what we do or what we talk about, don't you agree that we as Christians have to be prepared? We have to move forward and spread the gospel that like we've never like done we've before. never done before. We need to wake up, wake up, and and start warning people yep. what's 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 already here. Amen. Amen. La. Thank, thank you, David. Thank you so God bless much. You. God bless Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Yeah, you, you got it. God bless you all.